I'm Rob Rudica. At seven, my parents thought it was very important that I, I learned some form of self-defense. And um, so I started karate with me and my brother. Um, and we pursued that to, until we both attained our black belts. And um, I come across Henry Perez, uh, PMA, and Hapkido. I followed Hapkido through with, uh, for multiple years, and then Henry decided to make the change to MMA. And um, Hapkido itself is a bit of a mixed martial arts to begin with, so the transition was really smooth. Once I got a taste of MMA, I never looked back. My style is, uh, some people say, very aggressive. But I think through, throughout all the traditional types of martial arts that I've done throughout the years, and um, my traditional background, I, um, I really try and keep that aggression controlled. But if, if someone was to ask me to label my own style, I'd have to say it's, it's kind of like a dirty hybrid of everything I've done. And, um, I just enjoy fighting. Being on the Ultimate Fighter, it took you completely out of your comfort zone and, and tried breaking you and, and tried making you uncomfortable as possible, let alone having to fight. It was a huge learning curve and, and one I wouldn't be here today without. It, it taught me a lot of things. I, I learned that uh, every other fighter that, that they put in that house was just human. And I, I learned that humans can be stopped and that immense willpower can get you through just about anything. The feeling of stepping inside the octagon is just it's too hard to put into words. It's just an absolute bundle of emotions that, that just can't be expressed. It's, it's excitement, anticipation, nervousness. Um, it, it's kind of like wanting to know the ending of a movie before watching it. You're, you're just weeks and weeks and months of hard work, or, or accounting for 15, maybe 25 minutes in, in an octagon with one other person who's trying to take that away from you. So uh, try and figure it out. I like walking out to, to really hard sort of gangster type stuff. A lot of bass, a lot of quick rapping or it's just gotta it's it's gotta move you when you when you hear it. I like that sort of music because it I try to it keeps me calm, that sort of cold anger, cold fury. But um, I'm there to do a job and I'm gonna do that job as ruthlessly as I have to. Um, since the finale my life's definitely taken a huge turn for the for the better. Being being that I won won the show and won the event, um, I, I can now provide for my family, on the career and sport that I enjoy most. And I think just being able to to really delve into training and not have to worry about work, sleep, paying paying the bills on on, on a day job, is uh, it's just really given me the, the amount of time and dedication I can give to the sport now. Preparing for 160, it's a uh, it's a huge step and it's an honour as well as a privilege um, in terms of preparation. I'm, I'm just, I used last year as a bar standard for this year and, and I just want to constantly grow. I'm not looking I'm not looking to this fight, I'm looking to the next fight and I'm looking to the fight after that. I don't train to fight the person in front of me, I train to fight the best and um, if, if, if I stick to my own standards, I'm, I am my biggest, biggest critic and I'm, I'm the hardest on myself. So. I believe that if I if I stay true to myself and make myself proud, that's all that matters.